Hello friends, in this video we will see another problem based on the syllogism and the first syllogism statement given is no goat is door no goat is door and the second syllogism statement given is all doors are all doors are chairs all doors are chairs ok so the first conclusion given is some chairs are some chairs are doors some chairs are doors and the second syllogism I mean second conclusion given is some chairs are some chairs are goats and the third conclusion given is some chairs are some chairs are not goats some chairs are not goods and the fourth conclusion given is some doors are some doors are goods some doors are goods ok first option is given that either only either only second or third comes that means either second or third is true and the B option given is either only second or third and fourth comes ok either two or third or and fourth comes and C is given either only second or third and one comes third and one comes and D is only one and three comes ok and E is none of these E is none of these ok so E is none of these right so now let us derive the all possible conclusions from the given to syllogisms ok given to syllogism if you see this one if you see the given two syllogisms the first one is starting with no and the second one is starting with all and the predicate of first one is equivalent to the subject of the second one so that means we can use the rule that I told in the previous uh, video that is no plus all or some will give some not some not reverse some not reversed ok so some not reversed so from here no plus all so that means the result is going to be start with some so some and a reversed concept we use so that means the predicate of the second one will become subject that means some chairs are and then we take the not then then we take the not some chairs are not so again we use the reversed concept that means the uh, subject of the first one will become predicate some chairs are not goats some chairs are not goats so this is the first derivation we can do from this one right so second one from the uh, second statement alone we can do all doors are chairs so that means if you interchange chairs and doors this all will become some so second conclusion we get some chairs are doors some chairs are doors so when we have a sum we can interchange chairs and doors we can interchange chairs and doors so that means the third one we will get some doors are chairs some doors are chairs so this one is derived from the second derivation ok and when no gate is door we can interchange goat and door also ok so these rules we already used in the previous rules ok previous videos no goat is a door then no door is goat so no door is goat ok so whenever there is a no you can interchange the subject and the predicate whenever there is a sum 
then also you can interchange subject and predicate okay and whenever there is a all do all and whenever you are interchanging subject and predicate you have to replace this r with some that we did in the second one and for the first derivation we use this rule all plus i mean no plus all or some will give some not reverse okay these are the four conclusions uh, we derived from the given two syllogisms so if you observe this one the first one some chairs are doors okay some chairs are doors so this one is matching with the second derivation we got some chairs are doors so that means the first conclusion is true some chairs are goats so here some chairs are not goats but here it is given some chairs are goats so that means this one is false okay second one is the false third one some chairs are not goats so this one is matching with the first derivation some chairs are not goats so that means the third one is true and the fourth one some doors are goats so there is no relationship between the doors and goats okay doors and goats so this one is also false okay so that means only the first and the third are true so that means if you observe the d statement is i mean d option is specifying only one and three are comes so that means the option d is the option d is the right answer the option d is the right answer so i hope you got this one thank you very much for watching this video and please subscribe to my channel